Well, June is Adopt a Shelter Cat Month, and each Wednesday we'll be highlighting a local shelter and its cats as we go throughout the month. So here today we are joined by Pets for Saving, Pets for Seniors, a no-kill shelter that stabilizes and pairing senior animals with senior people. And of course, our shelter director, Liz Palak, is here to talk about you know, who she has with her today and some other cats looking for their forever homes. Thanks for joining us, Liz. Thank you. I love who we have here, so let's talk a little bit about who's in your arms. Okay, this is Cheddar. And Cheddar's almost 10, we think. Uh -huh. um, he came from uh, one home with nine other uh, cats. Sure. So um, he's used to being around other cats. As you can tell, he's our chill boy. Yeah. Um, and uh, all of the volunteers just love him. He is just a very f affectionate and playful cat in great health. I love that. Uh, so let's talk about PFS and why, you know, its mission, you know, pairing senior cats with senior people, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and dogs when we have them, you mm -hmm. know. So let's talk about why that's important to the greater Peoria area. Sure. Um, our program, Pets for Seniors, caters to seniors 60 and over and animals 7 and over. And uh, we do everything we can to make perfect matches for the seniors and find them great companions that gives them purpose it gives them a reason to get up in the morning yeah. and it's a great health remedy gives them you know lowers their blood pressure or heart rate uh, so it's such a positive thing too for their mental health and then pets for savings is basically for any aged animal with an approved app for anyone over the age of 21. That's amazing. Yeah. And I know, you know, shelters across the area have really been seeing kind of this kickback that we didn't expect from the pandemic, right? People are bringing animals back to shelters as they return right. to work. Right. So how are you guys handling that influx? It, it's, it's very challenging. Uh, what we're hearing are a lot of people that contact us want to surrender their cats. If they got them from us and they want to return them, we will definitely, you know, take them back. Sure. Um, but we always tell people, where did you get them from? If they got them from another shelter, they need to talk to that shelter. Uh, but some of the reasons that we're hearing is that uh, financial reasons primarily, um, you sure. know, that that pandemic really did affect people in their pocketbooks. and. Um, or even older people mm -hmm. that are having health issues that can't sure. keep their cats. But yeah, we are seeing sort of like you say across the country that trend mm -hmm. of people returning. And so right now we're almost full, but we have an event uh, coming up on Saturday. I did read that when I was doing a little bit of research before Liz joined us here on the show earlier today. I was looking at things online and noticed you guys are having an open house yes. on Saturday. So we have a full screen of that that we'll show you in just a minute. Um, so let's talk about adoptions. Mm -hmm. You know, what does that look like as far as meet and greets, where you guys are located, all that good jazz for interested yeah. people. Great. Yes, um, we do everything at the shelter. We just uh, made up a beautiful meet and greet room. Uh, we had a mural painted in the room to make it more homey. Cute. Uh, it is adorable, and it's just the best place for people to come and have some quiet time and kind of sit with the animals and pick them out. Yeah. And um, they need to put in an application first online, and um, we can um, process that. And if they do it even, you know, this week when we have a chance to process it, then Saturday when they come and they see our cats, including this one, um, <laughs> they might be able to pick out a cat and adopt that day. That's amazing. Yeah. I love that. Uh, well, Liz, let's talk a little bit about, you know, something that you want our viewers to take away from dis today's discussion. What do you really want yeah. them to hone in on? Well, obviously, um, you know, there's a need for adoptions, definitely, especially with all the shelters having that influx of cats right now. I know a lot of them have waiting lists and I know we're turning down because we just can't, we don't have the space for them. Yeah. Um, so if you've got, you know, a room in your home and in your heart, you know, to adopt a cat or a kitten, please do. Um, this is also kitten season, so we also yeah. have adorable kittens that will be available pretty soon too. We have a few right now, but we have more cats than kittens that are going to be ready on Saturday. 
That sounds great. Well, Liz, that is all the time we have this afternoon. Thank you so much for stopping by and bringing mm -hmm. Cheddar yes. and showing him to the world of Central Illinois. We greatly appreciate it. Well, thank you so much, and Cheddar appreciates it too. <laughs> Perfect. I'll get some snuggles while we're in the next commercial break. <laughs> but for now, head online to CIProud.com. We will have all of the information listed there for you as far as adoptions and the forms you need to fill out before that open house Liz was talking about on Saturday. Stick around. We'll have more after the break.